I am here to show you a tornado tube that I have made. I just deconstructed it a little bit. But what we use for this is two two liter soda bottles, some water, and a little connector right here. Now, I don't know if duct tape would work. Duct tape might work, but I don't know if it'll do as well as this connector will. But you can try duct tape if you want, but I'm not sure if it'll work or not. It may not do so well with the funneling. But here's where the connector looks like has all these little grooves that swirl around and that helps with the funneling as the water drains down so um this water is pink because I added a few drops of red food coloring um, okay and so what you need to do to construct it is which I've partly constructed it take one of your soda bottles attach your connector on here screw it till you can't screw it anymore because it has to be watertight or if it's not then water will spill everywhere and it'll leak and it'll get all messy then the second part is attach the top soda bottle and screw that on until it is till you can't screw it on anymore Again, to make it watertight so no leaks happen. Hang on a sec. Oops. Okay. And to check, to make sure it's watertight, squeeze the bottom bottle. And if you hear air hissing out of any of these little edges right here, then you need to tighten it more. And there is no air coming out, so it is watertight. So now that we got it all constructed, it is time to start. First thing, you flip it over. Now, I did use a little too much water at first. So, uh, you, you probably would only want to fill about halfway up tops. Okay, it's not leaking anywhere. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this bottle a few times to s drain some of it out. So we, because it'll be, we'll get a better vortex out of that. Okay, that should be good enough. Well, maybe one more squeeze. Okay, we've drained it enough now. Now we're going to take it and we're going to just take, hold on to the top and a little vortex will appear. And voila! Here, I'll show, I'll show it to you again, and this time from the bottom, to show you how it drains when the vortex appears. We drain it out some more. Okay, we're good enough. Okay, now watch as I make the vortex again. Watch how it drains. As the vortex drains down, the water rushes down the sides of the inside of this bottle and that is partly because of the design of this of the insides of this connector how the grooves kind of just funnel it in like that um maybe we can show you one more time 
We're going to view the top of it this time. We're going to make a big vortex, which means we're going to drain good majority of the water. Maybe not a good majority, but... Drain it to about that. A small little short vortex may appear due to the movement up there. Okay, we're going to make a very big vortex. And now we're going to view the top of it. And that's how you make a homemade tornado. Very easy to make. Stay tuned to my channel for more.